this prom makeup look. I know, holy cow, it's been a minute, but I am back and I'm really excited. When I originally sat down to film this makeup look, I really wanted to create something that was so universal in the sense that it was going to look good with a ton of different skin tones and also look good paired with a ton of different dress colors. Because one of my most commonly asked questions is, hey, I'm wearing a purple dress. What eyeshadow should I pair with it in order for it to look good? And I feel like if you always keep it classic, there's no way that you're going to look bad. It's like a foolproof way of always looking good. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to get this makeup look and I'm also going to show you this hairstyle fun fact I wore my hair like this for my senior homecoming and also my senior prom so I'm gonna show you guys how to get it how you can do it at home it's super duper easy and yeah I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get into the look all right, you guys, so before we jump into the video, slight disclaimer, if I sound just a tad bit masculine throughout any point of this video, that is because I completely turned up a playlist live this weekend with Belinda and Brea. So, I mean, let's just ignore the fact that my voice is a little bit raspy. Okay? Okay. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we can get started. Um, I am using the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer, which I absolutely love because it's super lightweight but hydrating all at the same time. I mean, you can't really beat that. Now for the brows, I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade called Ebony. Now I do have a brow routine listed on my channel. I'm going to link it down below for you. I did it last year, so if you guys wanna see an updated version, just let me know in the comments as well and I will be happy to film that for you. Moving on to the eyes, I took a little bit of scotch tape and applied it to the very outer part of my eye because we're going for more of a soft cat eye. For primer, I'm going in with Benefit's Air Patrol Eye Primer, which is very similar to Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden. Now, one of the main purposes of even applying an eyeshadow primer is to ensure that it stays in place, does not crease, and does not wear off throughout the night. After I set my eyeshadow primer, I always like to set it with a little bit of translucent powder. This is Mana Kadar's Dual Powder in C2. For my transition shade, I decided to go in with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow, which is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows to put in the crease as a transition color. Now, this may seem like a very pointless step, but I can guarantee you it is super important for ensuring that all your eyeshadows blend together very nicely. For this next shade, I went in with Fawn, which is this really pretty brown shade by Anastasia, and I just focus this on the very outer V and just a slight bit into the crease. I always recommend just building the color slowly and not applying a ton of product all at once because you're more likely to get a very nice blended seamless look if you gradually intensify the color as opposed to just applying a ton of product all at once. So blend, build, and blend. The next color I'm using is Makeup Geek's Mocha Eyeshadow, which is a very pretty, rich brown. And I took this on a pointed brush and I focused it on the very outer V. I didn't drag this too much into the crease. Like I said, I just really wanted to focus it on the outer V. And I'm just building the product up very slowly so that way I have a nice, seamless look. And after I put the product exactly where I wanted it, I just took another brush and I bled it out any harsh edges. Now, I decided that I wanted to offset the eyes since they were extremely matte with a shimmery brow bone highlight. So I went in with Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma Eyeshadow. And a little helpful tip I can give you when blending your brow bone highlight with the rest of the shadow is to tilt your brush on its side and blend it back and forth. And then if you want to further blend, you can always go in with a blending brush. And this is just going to ensure that everything is nice and blended. Like I said before, I wanted to keep the eyes extremely matte, so I went in with Makeup Geek's Mirage Eyeshadow, and I placed this all over my lid. Once I brought that color to the brown shade, I just went in with a fluffy brush, and I blended it back and forth, so that way there were no harsh edges. For liner, I'm using my tried and true NYC liquid liner in black. This is extremely matte. It is a brush tip, so it's kind of hard to work with, but once you get the hang of it, it's like holy grail. I'm not even kidding. Then for mascara, I went in with the Tarte Tardis Mascara, which is my favorite mascara at the moment. I feel like I don't even need to wear falsies when I wear this mascara, but since I have intense eyeshadow, falsies are definitely necessary. So I went in with the Esquito Voila Lash. I will link them down below as well as a discount code that you guys can use because these lashes are bomb. 
For my face primer, I decided to go in with the NYX Pore Filler Face Primer, which is essentially just going to diminish the appearance of larger pores. It's just going to fill in all of those fine lines. It is awesome. And then for my foundation, I wanted to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff. I went in with two different shades, but I mean, if you can find your perfect shade, then you only need one. And I just apply the stick straight to my face and then I blend everything out with a damp beauty blender. For concealer, I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and what I really like to do is apply it with my finger because the warmth of my fingertips really helps melt the product into my skin. And once I have the product exactly where I want it, I just go in with a damp beauty blender to blend everything out. To set my under eye concealer, I went in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Face Powder. And I'm not even kidding, this is going to keep your makeup locked and loaded all night long. So I decided to put it underneath my eyes, my chin, my cupid's bow, down the very bridge of my nose, and also my forehead. Pretty much all the areas of my face that tend to get oily throughout the day. As for the rest of my face makeup, I decided to set it with the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Now, I just use this on a stippling brush for a very nice kind of like even finish. And uh, yeah, I think my face looks pretty matte, pretty flawless, pretty good. For my face highlighter, I went in with the Balm Mary Luminizer to the highest points on my cheekbone. And this is super affordable. And honestly, you're going to be glowing. Like, you're going to be glowing in the dark if you use this. So I have also put it on the very tip of my nose, down the very bridge of my nose. And then for blush, I went in with the Tarte Tarte Amazonian Clay in the shade Exposed. And I apply this directly underneath the highlight shade. And I just blended everything together. Moving right back up to the eyes, I'm going back in with the Shima Shima eyeshadow and I'm applying this towards the very inner corners. And then for my lower lash line, I went back into that Fawn eyeshadow and on a flat definer brush, I applied this to the very lower lash line. And then I just blended everything out with a pencil brush so that way it was very nice and smoky. To really make my eyes pop, I wanted to line my very lower lash line with a nude pencil so I went in with the Rimmel Waterproof Eye Definer in Nude. And to really bring the look together, I went in with the Tarte Tardis Mascara and I applied a thin coat to my lower lashes. Now, since our eyes are extremely matte and prom's all about the glitz and the glam, I decided to add a little bit of the NYX Crystal Liner to the very inner corner of my eyes just for a little bit more of a glam effect. And for my lips, I went in with the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Baby Pink. And since the eyes were matte and the lips were matte, after I applied this, I was like, you know what? I think I need a glossy lip. So after I applied this liquid lipstick, I decided to go in with the Marc Jacobs High Shine Lip Gloss in Moon Glow directly over top. All right, so the makeup is done. Now we are going to move straight onto the hair. And since, as you can see, I had some frizzies toward the very front of my hair, what I decided to do was smooth them out with my new blow dryer and a round brush. This is pretty self-explanatory. All I did is I just ran my brush in my hair while holding the blow dryer up to it at the same time so that way everything was very nice, straight, even, and smooth. Now, since this hairstyle consists of us curling our entire head, I totally recommend sectioning your hair off into three different sections. I did one at the top, the middle, and also the bottom. Before curling, I also decided to add in a little bit of the L'Oreal El Nat Satin Hairspray to really just lock those curls in place, but this totally isn't necessary for everyday use. The styling tool I will be using is the New Me Titan 3 set, which I absolutely love because it comes with three titanium interchangeable barrels. It has a 19mm, a 25mm, and a 32mm. Today we are going to be using the 19mm wand. So before we begin, you want to make sure you heat this bad boy up. And once it's completely hot, you just take a small section of your hair, wrap it around the barrel, and then you can either let it go or hold it into your hand for a few seconds. But since I am using a relatively small wand, I find that I don't really need to hold the curl in my hand because it's already super curly. Now, if these curls are way too small for you, you definitely don't need to go with the 19 millimeter. Like I said, this kit comes with a variety of size choices to create the most versatile curl and waves. So you definitely don't need to do the 19 millimeter. You can do 25 or 32 millimeter, whatever is suitable for your hair length. 
Now, since I already showed you how to do a few curls on camera, I'm going to do the rest off camera because, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I do want to say that one of the really positive sides about using a high-quality wand is that even when you curl your hair today and you wake up the next day, you're still going to have really nice tousled wave, which I absolutely love. So I'm finishing up these curls. And as you can see, I'm not really a huge fan of really structured curls. So I'm just running my fingers through my hair with a little bit of Chi hair serum. So that way I can kind of fluff them out a little bit. You can totally rock your hair like this for prom, maybe even pin one side back with a really nice hair piece. But I live in Florida. It's super, super humid. So I prefer a half up, half down hairstyle, but that's totally me. You can rock whatever it is that you want. So what I did to create this half up, half down hairstyle was take a comb and comb it straight backwards. I took my comb and I parted it where the end of my eyebrow was so that way it had a very nice clean edge and then I just pinned it in place. Now this is a really kind of like on the fly half up, half down hairstyle. If you were to do this, I definitely recommend adding a little bit more hairspray, but since I'm not necessarily going to prom, I didn't want all that hairspray just kind of like sitting up in my hair, you feel me? So I went ahead and parted it the exact same way on on the other side and I just pinned it in place. Once those two sections were pinned in place, I decided to take the hair that was closest to my ear, put it directly over top of all those bobby pins and pin it in place. So that way you weren't able to visually see all of those bobby pins sitting in your hair from a distance. So that is pretty much it. All I did was just play with the hair a little bit so that way everything was in place, everything looked nice. And then I just went ahead and topped everything off with some hairspray. And this is the completed prom makeup look. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so that way I know you guys liked it. And also, let me know what other videos you guys